Hello my beloved viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel on a new video of lookup series of Microsoft Excel. In my channel you will find some useful series playlist and today we are going to learn how to use the lookup value and set up it when you have multiple criteria in a cell range or table array. To know about this formula briefly watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. And friends after the video ends please check the description box there you will find the link of the excel data file which has been used in this video. So without wasting any time let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference I am going to run the OSK software that means the on screen keyboard and I have already created a file previously to save time. But at first let me explain you something. The VLOOKUP function does not handle multiple criteria natively. However if you have control over source data you can use a helper column to join multiple fields together. and use these fields like multiple criteria inside VLOOKUP. You can use the concatenate function to join or to use the that as a helper column. Here I have already created the file previously. So at first look at here in this example I have a data file like this where I have first name, last name, department and group. So here in the full name cell I will use the concatenate function at first that is equals to concatenate look carefully at the spelling then you have to select the first text then put a comma then select the second text right then simply close the bracket and hit enter you will get the concatenation of these two cells. Then you can copy the formula from upside down look at here. So let me assume that we will have the first name in this cell that is suppose Adrian and the last name in this any of this any of from the table array right and we will use the VLOOKUP formula into the I6 cell. So if we have the multiple criteria we have to type the formula like this equals to you have to at first use the concatenation of this first name and last name right. So you have to use VLOOKUP function then open the first bracket then here you have to select this cell then you have to type the ampersand symbol then again you have to select this one. So this whole thing is our lookup value and whatever in this cell will be our lookup value right. Then put a comma we have to select the table array in our case in my case the table array is from here B5 to F15 then put a comma here then it is asking for column index number and what we are searching for we are searching for the department and according to this table the department is on number 1 2 3 and 4 number cell range or column range so we have to select or types 4 here then put a comma then we are going for exact match option so we are putting 0 here then close the bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here it is showing the result accurately and if you want to search for the group you have to type the formula repeatedly but you have to select the another column range so we are typing equals to V lookup then at first we have to select this one then put an ampersand symbol then this one that means I4 and I5 that is our lookup value put a comma select the table array like this then again put a comma column index number is 5 then again put a comma use the exact match 
close the first bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here it is showing you accurate result so let's check how this formula actually works in this example we want to look up employee for department and group using the VLOOKUP by matching on the first and last name right one limitation of VLOOKUP is that it only handles one condition the lookup value which is matched against the first column in the table this makes it difficult to use VLOOKUP and find a value based on more than one criteria However, if you have control over the source data and you can add a helper column, in my case full name, this column is the helper column that concatenates two or more fields together, then give VLOOKUP a lookup value that does the same. The helper column joins the field values from columns that are used as criteria and it must be the first column of the table inside the VLOOKUP function the lookup value itself also created by the joining the same criteria so VLOOKUP locates Adrian Monet as here and here Adrian Monet on the first row in the table array and returns the value in the fourth column that is sales so you have to set the things up like add a helper column at first that is in my case I have already created that is full name and then use the concatenate function as I have done previously concatenate C5 and D5 if you want to use it for your criteria set up VLOOKUP to refer for a table that includes helper column the helper column must be the first column in the table as in my case right this one is the first column in the table array for the lookup value join the same values in the same order to match values in the helper column make sure VLOOKUP is set to perform an exact match as we have done here so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video and if you like this video please give it big thumbs up share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned